What's up you horror nerds? I'm so excited to show you what is right here. So this is from CP Authentics. This is from one of the private signings that I've gotten like ages ago. Um, so this was about, I think, 40 to 50 US dollars. Um, it is an 8x10. It isn't certified because I chose not for it to be certified because I think when you certify it, it's like an extra 10 bucks. But I trust CP Authentics enough because they've been around for quite some time. So here we go. And ba bam. So this is signed by Miko Hughes, who played Gage in Pet Cemetery. If you guys haven't seen Pet Cemetery, I'd give it a watch. It's done by Stephen King, the famous Stephen King. If you guys read his novels, you know how much of a good uh, writer he is. Um, so this, I think the personalization and the character name, as well as the, um, inscription was free, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it says to Alicia, no fair, no fair, Miko Hughes, Gage. So, um, I wanted him to do the no fair, no fair part because that was like one of my favorite highlights of that, like that movie with him where he's coming at you where like with the scalpel and he's like doing that, like, like grinning and gurring type sound or whatever. And like, he had some like really good, um, scenes like well i'm just reminded me with when he slit um was it judd judd when he said uh when he slit judd's achilles and tendons at, at the back of his like legs that was pretty fucking gross like that was like i that was actually my second scene that i've seen with someone like getting their achilles and tendons um like sliced by a scalpel like have you guys seen hostel like the first one where he like let the guy go but he didn't and he just like he said you're free to go and he slid it and then like he stood up and then like you saw it like go like that it was fucking really gross and like the like the sound effect that it made it was nasty but yeah so it was really well done um if you guys haven't seen pet cemetery give it a watch like i said the first one was good the second one the sequel wasn't as good um the the new one that they just came out was like it was okay it wasn't it wasn't like wow worthy if you if you get what i mean um, but like, I, that's why I hate when people like touch the original films and then they revamp it and they create their own like spinoff and their version of it. But it, like I said, it could go very successful or it could go like downhill. Um, and what else, what else that, that lady in that film scared the shit out of me. What is it the, the, with the mom um, or with, with her like spine with like her, like that was like, where, where, like she, Rachel, yeah, Rachel, like that shit scared the shit out of me. Like, I don't, I, I just, no, never again. Like, that was, like, really terrifying. She had to bring her, her her meals. Yeah, like, she had to bring her her meals and stuff like that. That shit was terrifying. I let the bitch die. She was, like, scary enough. I was like, oh, no. But, yeah, so it was a really good film. You guys haven't seen it. Um, Give you, like, kind of, like, the, like, cliff note version where um the family, they, I guess, they, I think they move into a house or whatever. And then um the little boy, Gage, was playing in the street. And then, I guess, he, he gets hit by a truck. And then um they hear about this pet cemetery where, like, they bury their animals and shit like that. And then, like, stuff happens where they come back. But they come back, like, all fucked up and shit. So it's really not the same cat. So when, when Church when church got hit, I think, did, did Church get hit? Or, yes. When Church got hit, they buried Church in the pet cemetery. And then they said, okay, well, maybe it'll come back. So Church came back, but he was, like, a little fucked up and stuff. He wasn't, like, you know, he was, like, kind of like a demon cat. And then when their little boy got hit, they said, fuck it. Well, you know, what What? What? What else can happen? Like, you know, church came back, so let's put our kid in the in the pet cemetery. So they brought their kid back, and then the kid's not obviously right at all. Like, he's, like, got, like, a fucking scar where you can see he got hit by the truck, and he's coming at you with a scalpel. I think it's time to trank the kid and, and, and re-kill him again. So, yeah. So leave a like, leave a comment, and tell me what you thought of the pet cemetery movies. Did you like the first one? Did you like the second one, or did you like the new one? Ciao for now.